Hello fellow Earthlings, it's Libs, and today I'm going to be talking about my favourite book genre, which is of course historical fiction. Now, I know that historical fiction tends to be a genre that some people are a little bit scared of, they find it somewhat intimidating, or they just don't think they're as interested in books that are set in the past. So I thought I'd make this video to kind of show where you can start with historical fiction if you find it a bit intimidating. I know that a lot of people who love the genre tend to talk about books like Wolf Hall a lot, and Wolf Hall is definitely not a book to go into if you're not a historical fiction fan. It's a lot. <laughs> so these are books that could kind of dip your toe in the genre, see how you feel about it, and aren't going to be quite as um, dense, perhaps. Now, a lot of people don't really know where historical fiction kind of, I don't know, starts, I guess. Um, I tend to go with books that are, it sort of becomes historical fiction when it's 50 years, like the story set 50 years um, prior to like the book being written, perhaps. I know that's kind of what I tend to consider something historical fiction. So that leaves us with kind of like the um, the seventies kind of being almost but not quite kind of somewhere in the middle. But if you're interested in trying historical fiction, perhaps the seven book set in the seventies is a good place to kind of start. So my recommendations for books kind of set in the seventies are both kind of depressing <laughs> ones. The first one I don't have with me, but that is The Lovely Bones. It's been a long time since I've read that book, but I would like to reread it. Um, it's about a young teenager who is murdered and she's kind of in this place called the in-between where she's kind of moved on, but she's still watching her family back on earth who are trying to deal with her death and trying to figure out who the murderer was. It is like, it is a dark book, but I really enjoyed it. I'd say skip the film. The film, I remember watching as a teenager and it creeped me out so much. I'm, I can never watch it again, it, no. For something slightly less creepy, I've got The Virgin Suicides by Jeffrey Eugenides. We know that I love this book. This is one of my favourite books of all time. Will not stop talking about it. Um, it's about the five Lisbon girls and the boys who live on their street. Um, the boys kind of, their infatuation with these girls and these girls all die very, very young. And as these boys grow up and turn into men, they always are left wondering why these girls had to die. And it's them reminiscing about everything and trying to put the pieces together. But of course, you, you can't put the pieces together. You can't really know. But it's a fantastic book. I really, really love it. Next, I've got a few recommendations from kind of the 1930s, 1940s, kind of set during and around um, World War II. Another book I had to read in high school, but this was like my favourite assigned reading and that's The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. I adore this book so much. I'm hoping to reread it later this month if I can. I adore this. It's about um, a young German girl who moves in with like um, a foster family or her new adoptive family and she steals books and is trying to learn how to read but also you've got, you know, all the dangers of everything happening outside in the rest of Germany that she doesn't really understand and being with a family who don't support what's going on outside. And so the dangers that they face and the lies they have to tell to keep themselves and the people under their roof safe. It is brilliant. Everyone I know who's read this book loves this book. I just, it's amazing. Next, I have a few books that play around with time. I think if you're not sure, books that kind of, about historical fiction books that tend to, you know, go from the present back into the past can be a really interesting way of seeing how you feel about it. 
So first I've got um, Girl, Woman, Other by Bernadine Evaristo. This book follows, I think, 12 um, characters and mostly um, women in the UK and it explores kind of their lives. It's very um, poetic, it's very beautiful and they all kind of connect to each other in some way and some of the stories do go back um, further in time and they're, re they're some of my favourites actually, I think. I think definitely my favourites were those ones that were set further back in time and I would def I mean I'd recommend this book anyway but you know if you weren't sure about it this is the push you need to read this book. Then I have a book that I read very recently and that's The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. This also plays with time. I think it's kind of the um, set kind of between the 50s and the 90s or like the early 60s and the 90s. And I really, really enjoyed this book as well. Um, it's about two twin sisters from this town where everyone is white passing and one day they disappear and they're living together for a little while and then one of the, um, the twins vanishes without a trace. And it's about how their lives com are completely different once they've been, once they're separated and the choices that they make and how it impacts their children and it was a really really interesting book that delved on a lot of um, a lot of different topics and I would definitely recommend it um, there's a reason everyone has been talking about this book recently and it just got um, nominated for the women's prize for fiction it's on the long list um, I would definitely recommend this book and last I have some more kind of adventure fantasy novels that um, a set very far back in um, back in time but I think are so wonderful I have such a great story that even if you're not sure about the historical elements you should definitely read them just for the adventure um, kind of magicalness and the fantasy within these books um, the first is The Princess Bride by William Goldman um, if you've seen the film <laughs> which is one of my favourite films of all time, then you'll know kind of what this book is about. Um, part of it is set in the 70s when the book was written and other bits are just at a, t a time in history that you don't know. It kind of pokes fun at the fact that you'll never be able to pinpoint when in history um, the story is set, which I find really fun. It's definitely an adventure novel and if you're into that, you will probably really enjoy this book. And the other one I have is the Winter Night Trilogy, which starts with The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. This is my favorite fantasy trilogy at the moment. Um, it's about this young girl in Russia who can see these kind of spirits, but no one else can really see them. And everyone thinks she's a witch and it's fascinating. I've read the first um, two books and I'm really excited to read the third one. Um, yeah, so and I think 1600s Russia. Um, it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. It's so magical, so mysterious, so atmospheric. I would recommend this to absolutely anyone. Okay, so those are my recommendations if you're interested in trying to get into some historical fiction. I adore all of these books and I hope you find something that you'd be interested in reading uh, let me know what your favorite historical fiction books are down below and i'll see you next time bye